What is out there beyond Earth has always piqued humans' interest. From the ancient Greek philosophers to the highest tech modern scientists, to children looking up at the moon in bewilderment. As we unpick and discover what else is out there, we satisfy more and more of our curiosity and push science further. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent astronomical discoveries. Science Land Osiris Rex Probe on Bennu Asteroid Often to understand more about things we do not, it is helpful to look at where they have come from or how they were made. For astronomers, there is a great deal of mystery surrounding plenty of different celestial objects. For us to understand a little bit more, we need to take a peek behind the curtain, a glance behind the scenes, and see what these bodies are made out of. Research aiming to discover exactly this has been well underway, with NASA launching a spacecraft aiming to collect a sample of material from an asteroid. In 2016, a launch from Cape Canaveral kick-started this project, resulting in what we can only hope was a successful sample retrieval in 2020. NASA successfully landed their spacecraft, described to be the size of a van, on the asteroid Bennu, avoiding numerous obstacles and challenges on its course along the way. The aim is that this craft will remotely retrieve rubble from the surface of the asteroid and then will deliver this sample back to us on Earth to analyze and hopefully understand a little better. So far, the mission seems to have been an overwhelming success. According to the team running this mission, preliminary data showed that the collection went ahead smoothly as had been planned. Lead scientist Dante Loretta from the University of Arizona commented, I can't believe we actually pulled this off. Jim Bridenstine, the administrator of NASA, congratulated the team and highlighted the significance of this discovery, pointing out that the planned mission would mean that the team would be returning the largest sample to be brought back to Earth from space since Apollo. For reference, the Apollo program began in 1961 and the 11th mission in this series in 1969 was what finally put man on the moon. The OSIRIS-REx probe first revealed successful contact with asteroid Bennu from over 200 miles away, though even when the scientists knew successful contact had been made, the suspense was not over. It then becomes a waiting game for the sample to safely return to Earth and for scientists to confirm that the sample of the asteroid material was in fact retrieved, and whether the sample was substantial enough. If everything continues to run to plan during the OSIRIS-REx mission, the samples will be returned in 2023. A similar mission was conducted by Japan, which made its way back to Earth in December of 2020. This mission collected samples of Roigu, a 4.5 billion year old asteroid, making this the first mission to return subsurface asteroid samples back to Earth. The mission was dubbed Hayabusa 2 and was a great success. It took the OSIRIS-REx space probe an approximate four and a half hours to make the transitional journey from being in a tight orbit to making it to the surface, directed through commands prepared in advance by ground control in Denver. Now, the complications did not end here. Bennu is only 1,670 feet across, making the gravitational force on the asteroid too low for the spacecraft to land and then collect the required sample. Instead, from a small height, an 11-foot robotic arm reached out and down to collect some of the asteroid. For an adequate sample, Bennu needed to ideally snatch up at least two ounces for a good sample size when conducting analysis. Heather Enos, deputy scientist for the mission and associated with the University of Arizona, described this delicate procedure as kissing the surface with a short touch and go measured in just seconds. The spacecraft had a window to aim for to try and collect the sample from, aiming for a spot that has been described as a few car parking spaces in size. The area in the middle of the Nightingale crater on the asteroid is where the sample was due to come from. The spacecraft spent nearly two years orbiting Bennu prior to this location being selected. Scientists determined that the so-called parking space-sized section in the middle of the Nightingale crater was the ideal spot to gather the sample from, since this had the biggest area of particles. 
Bennu is thought to be composed of material that will tell us much of the foundation for the building of the solar system. In appearance, the sample should be black and crumbly, and we expect it to be high in carbon. To collect the sample, OSIRIS-REx was programmed to release pressurized nitrogen gas. This mixed up the surface of the asteroid, and then loose pebbles and dust were sucked up. For those of us who might not be able to wrap our heads around the significance of Bennu, NASA's science mission chief, Thomas Serbukan, made a comparison between Bennu and the Rosetta Stone, stating, something that's out there and tells us the history of our entire Earth, the solar system, during the last billions of years. And another bonus as we learn more about Bennu is that within the next century, there is a small possibility that it could collide with Earth, not like in the films or in a way that wiped out the dinosaurs, but the possibility of minor impact is there. NASA plans to launch three more asteroid missions similar to this one over the coming years, though it won't be until 2023 before we get our hands on the Bennu samples. Exoplanet Collision at BD2307 We have lots of wonderful tools and impressive telescopes at our disposal, including the well-known names like the Hubble Space Telescope or the Keck Observatory. However, one of the more impressive and interesting observatories has been built through a team effort between NASA and DLR, the German Aerospace Center. That is SOFIA, the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. This is a Boeing 747 aircraft fitted with an infrared telescope on the port side of the fuselage. This telescope is fully decked out for infrared astronomy, including FORECAST, the faint object infrared camera for the SOFIA telescope. FORECAST, fitted on SOFIA in 2019, spied what could be a truly fascinating discovery. Scientists believe it could have been the collision of two exoplanets, BD-20307 is about 300 million light-years from Earth. It is a double system formed of stars that are crucial to this research. The system is roughly a billion years old. By the time a system is this old, we expect all circumstellar dust to have disappeared, though just 10 years ago, observations from the Spitzer instrument suggested warm debris was around the system. Sophia has collected some new data to add to the discussion. This has shown that the infrared brightness of the debris at BD20307 has increased by 10% over the course of 10 years. This is a quick development that we do not usually see in an established older system like this. Some scientists are suggesting that the quick developments and out-of-the-ordinary features could point towards a collision of two exoplanets. Alicia Weinberger, a scientist at the Carnegie Institution for Science's Department of Terrestrial Magnetism and lead investigator of the research, explains that the SOFIA observations are incredibly valuable, both in the timescale the changes are shown on and in the rarity of the observation. She said, this is a rare opportunity to study catastrophic collisions occurring late in a planetary system's history. This research could also help develop our understanding into the development of binary systems, looking at how they evolve. The hope is that this knowledge could then be applicable during research towards the Alpha Centauri triple system. If the unusual activity going on at BD20307 is in fact an exoplanet collision, more research should be able to help us confirm this. We can then look for these same signs in other parts of our universe and keep an eye out for potential hazards within our own solar system. Some have even suggested that the large axial tilt of Uranus is likely due to a number of collisions. As the research develops, we can hope to draw more concrete conclusions. LTT-1445AB LTT-1445AB is a stellar system, a few stars that orbit one another all pulled together through a gravitational pull. This particular star system is found in the constellation Eridanus and was first spotted in the June of 2019 thanks to data from TESS, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, and the astrophysicists at the Harvard Center for Astrophysics. 
This stellar system has three M-dwarf stars within it that orbit the planet. The system also plays host to two exoplanets, one of which transits the star every 5.36 days and was uncovered in 2019, whilst the other every 3.12 days but was not discovered until 2021. Further research into exoplanets revealed that the two that orbit around LTT 1445AB have a makeup not too dissimilar to Earth. It has been assessed as likely being rocky due to how close it is to the star it is orbiting. A mixture of temperature, velocity and light studies have all fed into gathering the above information. For now, this is most of what we know about the little star system, but perhaps more will come out in the not too distant future. The more we uncover and the more missions we embark on, the more fascinating the universe seems. What else is happening out there for us to find? But what do you make of these three recent space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.